Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. So this is gonna be my end of year uh, video. Long-term subscribers know I like to film a sort of end of the year video every year. I don't like to do year recaps, that's not really my thing. I like to talk about the upcoming year and the theme that I wanna have for the upcoming year. And uh, I decided that my theme of 2019 is going to be legacy, right? Legacy, 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 like Jay-Z. So somebody actually in November um, sent me a message. I'm going to read the message. You know who you are. Um, and it's really been something I've been think feel like I've been thinking about this entire year and, and something that I really want to think about more and focus on. Moving into 2019, it says, Hey, Seren, one thing I haven't seen you mention is legacy and the future opportunities that will be missed out for Black Americans due to the preference for foreign Blacks. In Hollywood, for example, think about all the actors whose breaks were piggybacked off of previous Black Americans. Eddie Murphy, the Wayans Brothers, Robert Townsend, Martin Lawrence, Spike Lee, so on and so forth. If Black American opportunities are cut short, the future Black Americans will also miss out due to their not being previous ones with clout enough to give opportunities. Now again, they were using the example of Hollywood, but I feel like this is something that really could be um, applied across the board in terms of all different types of industry and infrastructure. So I'm going to read it again. If Black American opportunities are cut short, the future Black Americans will also miss out due to their not being previous ones with clout enough to give opportunities. Seems like foreign Blacks would either not pay it forward to Black Americans or would pay it forward to their foreign Black counterparts, like Yvonne Orji, who set up a Nigerian HBO meet. That's the part that concerns me more than anything, is the future implications of this current preference. I said I agree that I thought it was really disconcerting in terms of legacy. And this person says, I don't think that many people really see the context of the ramifications of eternally putting us on the back burner, especially if those who do get the opportunities will extend to the future generations of Black Americans. It's actually scary when I think about it. Either way, keep up the good work. More and more of us are seeing it for what it is. Thank you so much for that comment. Again, you know who you are. Now, I kind of, now I was already planning on doing this video. Like I said, this person sent me this message way back in November. So I was already planning on doing this video on legacy and I was actually already planning on making this my end of the year video. And on Christmas day, a trailer came out for Jordan Peele's newest movie that's going to be called Us. Now the two leads of the, it's going to be another horror film. The two leads of this movie are Winston Duke and Lupita Nyong'o, neither of which are Black Americans. They are both foreign Blacks and yet they are both playing Black Americans in this film. A lot of people have been asking me about this trailer and asking me what do I think about this trailer and I wanted to address it during this legacy video because I wanted to read you guys actually an excerpt from um, an article that was written on Jordan Peele and on this. Uh, I will include a link in the description box if you want to read this full article, but I'm just going to read you guys the excerpt for right now. Jordan Peele breaks down the frightening first Us trailer, and they asked him, talk about your ideas for the Wilson family. Jordan Peele said, I can't think of a horror movie of this nature with a family in the center of it that uses a black family. So I knew just by putting an African-American family in the lead role, already we would be exploring cinematic uncharted territory. And I apologize if I'm missing something, which I probably am. I feel like, yes, nigga, yes, yes, you're fucking missing some something. Because here you have someone who is expressly, expressly speaking on the importance of African-American, Black American representation in terms of this family, right? I knew by putting an African-American family in the lead role, we would be exploring cinematic uncharted territory, right? You're talking about the importance of a Black American family in this role in terms of representation, but you then chose not to cast Black Americans as your leads for this family. What does that mean in terms of legacy, right? What are we talking about in terms of legacy, right? One of the whole reasons behind why you made this film is because you, you're, you're thinking about Black American families and Black American representations and, and what is the legacy of us in, in this microcosm of, of film and especially the horror genre, which he has decided he wants to go with. The lead of his last film, Get Out, Daniel Kaluuya, was also not a Black American, but was playing 
a black American and talking about some really specific themes in terms of American racism, which is based off of American chattel slavery, right? What does this mean in terms of legacy? And as we've been having these conversations about culture and ethnicity and history and heritage, I've just been thinking a lot over the whole year about legacy, even going back to Black Panther, which came out in like January, February, and you know, the the review videos that I did on Black Panther and sort of like, what does this stuff mean? You know, what are the implications of, of these ideas and these concepts and these narratives? And what are the legacies that we are leaving behind? What do we as Black Americans want our legacy to be? What do we want our narrative to be? What do we want to protect? What is worthy of protection? Again, who are we, right? Because these people don't know who we are. They think they think they know who we are, as I continue to say, but they do not know who we are. They think they could just slide anybody in there to be us and then wax poetic about the importance of Black Americans and our culture and our representation and our place in terms of our, our, our history, again, heritage, ethnicity, and culture, but just there's a disconnect, right? So just what are the, again, what are the legacies that we are leaving behind? What do we want our legacy to be? What what type of legacies do we want to build? Um, what do we want to explore? That's just really gonna be. That was a lot of my theme for 2018 as well. But I'm gonna I'm gonna really get into it even more exploring in 2019. Um, for 2019, I just I really want to think even more and delve even deeper into the ideas of legacy and culture, right? After the whole get out Samuel L. Jackson thing happened, I did a video. Now this video again was like January, February. That was called like, what is you know what is do black do black Americans like are we our own ethnicity? You know like what is culture? Like I've been thinking about this stuff for a while, but I really want to continue it into 2018, uh, just in terms of of themes, right? Legacy and culture. We've even talked a lot about how so much of our current media builds on nostalgia, right? And reboots and remakes. And again, an idea of what our black American culture is and who we are to the point where people have even wondered what will the art of this era, you know, look like when we look back? Will it just be an assortment of references to things that already exist? Will it just be these minstrel shows of people putting on um, their caricature of black Americanness, you know, like a coat. Meanwhile, they say, well, we're doing it for the culture. Jordan Peele, oh, I'm doing it because I recognize the importance of having a black American family, you know, getting this type of representation. And yet you cast no black Americans in your film. It's wild. Like, it's dissonance, right? It's cognitive, it's cognitive dissonance. Um, and so where are we going in terms of legacy? What are we creating? What are we building? Where do we want to go? What do we want to preserve? What will the legacy be? Um, and how will it help others? That's that's some of the stuff that I'm really thinking about as we head into um, 2019. That's, that's the stuff that I think is going to be really important moving forward. And I'm going to read you guys a few more messages that I was sent with regards to the um, Jordan Peele trailer itself. And then I'm going to close out by reading you that initial um, DM on Legacy one more time. This movie looks good, but it doesn't look like it has any DACS in it. I think it's time to disown Jordan Peele if we even own him at all. I suspected his fakery during Key and Peele, but gave him a chance with Get Out. But the trailer for us has solidified it. I feel like he doesn't think that we as Black Americans can act, and he thinks he can cast foreign Blacks to play us, and we won't even notice. I didn't like Daniel's bitch-ass stale acting and get out, and I can tell you from the trailer, Winston is just as fucking terrible as is Lupita. It's like watching someone do a terrible impersonation of us, and they have us in quotations. And to me, that's kind of funny because it's even like a... It's ironic, right? Because the whole trailer revolves around like doubles and, you know, messing around with these ideas of identity and who are you and who am I? And then you like slide in, you continuously slide in for Blacks to play Black Americans. I don't know if he's doing it on purpose or if this, I, I don't know. I really don't know at this point. I don't know if he's doing it on purpose or if it's like really subconsciously like happening in terms of like these identities and these doubles and these body doubles and these motherfucking evil doppelgangers, these fucking agents and shit. But it's really, it's really some real shit. It's some real shit.
Another comment, Us Trailer is out by Jordan Peele. Again, the lead actors are foreign blacks with the lead instrumentation being the iconic I Got Five On It by the black American group Lunez. This shit is tired. I wrote back, I'm tired of him. Get Out was overrated and Jordan Peele's casting choices are consistently questionable. And the person wrote me back, facts. And I'm a big horror fan. I'm disappointed in the horror department with what he's doing. And y'all know, I did a review on Get Out. I wasn't impressed by that shit either. I said I felt like it was overrated. People were acting like it was some great, amazing fucking film in the horror genre, and I did not agree. And I said even back then, if you missed it, I will include links to that review as well as the Black Panther in the description box. I said even then, I was like, who is this movie supposed to be for? Who is it supposed to be for? In terms of these themes, in terms of these concepts, these ideas about racism, who is this shit supposed to be for? A lot of this feels like, again, it's like 101 um, critical race theory, with foreign blacks to make it easier to swallow, to make it more fictional for white people. Just like Insecure, <laughs> just, you know, just, this shit is a pattern. It's a pattern. I, you know what, I said earlier, I don't know if, he's doing, if they're doing it on purpose. I do think they're doing it on purpose. I think they're doing it on purpose and I think it's very deliberate. And again, I think that we as black Americans really need to focus, again, heading into 2019 on legacy and culture and what is the legacy that we want for ourselves and what are we trying to build and what are we trying to leave behind and how are we taking con control of our narrative and our culture and our our preservation because this shit is about is like some type of motherfucking hostile takeover and i watched the trailer and i thought the motherfucking us shit looked weak if you want to get crazy we could get crazy with your with your howard shirt on nigga i'm from dc i found that shit to be offensive fuck out of here winston duke with your bum ass and I'm going to close out by reading the original comment again, because again, this is what I think should be the main theme heading into 2019. Legacy and the future opportunities that will be missed out for Black Americans due to the preference for foreign Blacks. If Black American opportunity, I mean, and I could even extend that obviously to obviously non-Black persons of color because the whole oh, POC, 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 we all the same, one umbrella, the POCs and the immigrants make America great and all this stuff that amounts to the erasure of Black Americans, the erasure of our history, the erasure of our heritage, the erasure of our culture, the erasure of our legacy, right, moving forward. If Black American opportunity, you know what, I keep interrupting myself. The erasure of our legacy moving forward when the fact that all these people can even have any of these things here is because of us. It's vile and it's offensive. If Black American opportunities are cut short, the future Black Americans will also miss out due to their not being previous ones with clout enough to give opportunities, right? And no one wants to pay it forward to Black Americans. Nobody wants to pay it forward to Black Americans. Immigrants get put on and they want to put on for other immigrants. Non-black persons of color get on and they're going to put on for other non-black persons of color. White folks get on and we already know they only put in on for white folks. Black Americans only have ourselves, despite the fact that, yet again, immigrants are here right now because we fought for immigration rights as a part of the civil rights movement, right? This country even exists as it does in its current iteration as an economic powerhouse where people can come here for better opportunities because of the centuries of unpaid labor, slavery, American chattel slavery. All this shit that everybody has right now is because of us, and yet nobody pays it forward to Black Americans. We have to look out for ourselves and consider ourselves and our future generations and what our legacy is going to be here as well as worldwide. If Black American opportunities are cut short, the future Black Americans will also miss out due to their not being previous ones with clout enough to give opportunities. Seems like others would either not pay it forward to Black Americans or pay it forward to other counterparts. That's the part that concerns me more than anything, is the future implications. It's like people are all riding on the black train to prosperity no matter where they're from, but as soon as we make progress, everyone breaks off the track to make back deals for their people. I don't think many really see the context of the ramifications of putting us on the back burner, especially if those who do get the opportunities will be extended to the future generations of black Americans. It's actually scary when I think about it. That's what niggas need to make a motherfucking horror movie about. What will be the legacy for black Americans? It's, it's, it's a concentrated effort. It's erasure. It's culture wars. People really want us to disappear, right? So heading into 2019, legacy. What will be the legacy? How will it help others? 
holding on to our history, heritage, ethnicity, and culture, and fucking fighting, because motherfucking the gravy train is over in 2018. It's done. So, end of year video. Uh, only one day left, in, two days left in the year. One day, two days left in the year. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hopefully it resonates with you. Let me know what you think in the comments. What will be some of your personal goals and mottos moving into 2019? Food for thought, as always. See you guys next time. Peace.